right, all right, all right. I think I think we're good. So, uh, yeah, give me one one quick sec. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I have been I've been working hard to get uh, what I thought would be pretty something pretty cool uh, set up for the session. First off, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, to session number two of ICND two. I think this is probably the eighth or ninth study session we've had in total. We've done ICND one up till now. Um, we've got ICND two that started last week um, with just a single session because I was getting some stuff put together. Um, so, so brief announcement: um, I am done with the CCNA 2020 for CBT Nuggets. So it is now in its final QA process, getting shipped out. Um, so those of you that are looking to study for the February uh, 2020 date this next year is all in. Uh, it, it, it'll be ready to go within within moments. I can't give an exact date because CBT Nuggets is doing a, doing a lot of QA. This is actually one of the uh, the, the biggest series that they've had. So um, so it's going to be good. Um, so here's what I thought we would do. Um, so I went to a friend's house. This is um, probably a couple of weeks ago, and he had this thing where we we all kind of sat down and we kind of played like this party game, but we all played on our phones. It, where it asked questions and everybody was kind of voting. And I, and I asked him, I'm like, what is this thing? And, I, and he explained it. I was like, I bet I can use this for my study sessions. And so we're going to try that. So we're so, so, um, uh, I know right now we've been having everybody chat into the little chat box on each one of the questions that we've been answering. Now I've got something new. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to, I'm going to chat it in the little chat box. I want you to go to Oh, hang on one second. I, I, I totally forgot the URL. Okay, it is, uh, go here. Uh, HTTPS ahaslides.com forward slash ICND2. It'll actually work best, or actually just click the link I just put in the chat, um, and that should take you there. Um, it'll ask for your name, so put that in and choose a little avatar because it'll actually track points where it's, this is going to be so, this is going to be so cool. Um, so, so everybody join right now and I'm here, I'm going to, I'm going to put on some music. I'll be able to see as you guys join. Um, so we'll wait until everybody gets joined in and then we'll, uh, we'll start the quiz because once it starts, you, you can't, you can't join later, right? Hey guys, quick quick note. Um, I've got 14 people in, but I've got 35 people that are okay. Okay. Oh, sweet. We're up. My so my daughter, by the way, is running this. Um, so she just she just whispered to me. There's 22 people in so far. 35 people are joined in the stream. So come on, don't be afraid. I'll give you 30 more seconds. Uh, Roadrunner from Ireland, come on, join join in. Go to ahaslides.com forward slash icnd2 and uh, and join in this this quiz. What do we add, Isabella? 
23. 23 people have joined us so far. Uh, come on in. This will this will be this will be how we all join. Uh, 15 more seconds. Once I start, you can't you can't join anymore. Okay, so so uh, 1 a.m. My word. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome everybody. All right. 10 more seconds, Isabella. What? How many do we have? 23 are joined. I've got 23 people in. Last chance to get joined up. URL right here. And then, uh, so th this this will be it'll be how you answer the questions, and we can all uh, all go to uh, I'll join this quiz together. It'll be fun. Trust me. Okay. Uh, that being said, um, I'll chat the URL one more time into uh, into the chat, and you can join while I'm uh, HTTPS, go up, uh, uh, slides com. All right, click on that URL in the chat that just came through on Twitch, and uh, and that will get you that'll get you joined up. Um, let me just turn down the music for myself. Okay, um, so that being said. Um, Let's get going. So we are doing ICND2. I'm going to go a little bit longer today because I took about 10 minutes to get this all set up. I knew it would be a little rocky getting started. Um, but what we're doing is going through the uh, practice, practice exam straight off of the CBT Nuggets website. As always, of course, you can join up, grab a CBT Nuggets subscription, and do these yourself. We left off last time on question number five. Uh, so we, we did this one last time. So we're going to start off on question number six. Um, so here's the question. It says, what is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer specification for spanning tree protocol? Isabel, go ahead and start the quiz now. So go ahead and uh, figure out what your answer will be there and then we'll, we'll get going. I think uh, <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many things I'm juggling right now to, to make this all work. Um, Isabella, what was the top answer? Top answer was C, and and I believe that was the correct answer. 802.1D is is the correct answer. Is this uh, yeah doing this? Uh, so uh, you got to give me feedback on how this works, and I'm sure we'll be able to to improve this as we go. So the answer is C. You are correct. Well done. So it, the original, and let me mention here, the original 802.1D was extremely slow by today's standards. That is normal. It's called common spanning tree, CST or uh, CSTP. Um, long ago, they came out with rapid per VLAN spanning tree, actually rapid spanning tree. Cisco adopted it and made it rapid per VLAN spanning tree, uh, which is what they're testing you to now on the ICND2 exam. Uh, there was a great discussion uh, this last time on how spanning tree worked and I posted that, that video to, uh, to YouTube. So you can check that out from there. All right, here we go. Question, I will call it question number seven. You've got the output from switch D and you can see it right here on the screen. It says, based on this output, what command must be executed for an 802.1Q trunk to be created on fast ethernet zero slash one. So go ahead and, uh, uh, answer that on on the uh, quiz. Go ahead and uh, get that started. So the question is coming to you right now. Here we go. All right, time is up, and the answer is actually. I see a, a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon. No, the answer is actually B. Switch port mode trunk. If it, now, no, so let's let's talk about this. Um, C. Switch port trunk encapsulation 802.1Q. First off, that's an invalid command on the Cisco iOS. Um, the, the actual command is dot one Q um, that you would type. You actually can't type in 802.1Q. But if you look up here, 
the administrative and the operational trunking mode is actually set to dot one q already so 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 the the thing that we want to focus in on here when we do the show interface fast either blah 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 switch port it says Based on this output, what command must be executed for an 802.1q trunk to be created? Well, the encapsulation is already set, so this piece is already done, right? What we have to do is flip that over from access mode to trunk mode, and we do that by typing in switch port mode trunk, which is the answer, uh, the answer B. So, so thank you. I'm, I'm taking that feedback right now. Uh, said, uh, can you start the quiz a little longer after having a quiz question up? The delay on the stream means it's hard to get full points. Thank you for that. So, so, um, yes, I will. So what I'll do I, again, this is the first time doing this. So we're learning. Um, I'll read the question. Um, and, and I think you, I think you can join this. The well, it might be too late to join the quiz actually. Um, but, um, I'll read the question. I'll point to Isabella. She will start it. No, no, no. I'll read the question. We'll uh, we'll kind of chat for a little while. No, I'll read the. <laughs> I'll do something. I'll delay it because I know it's it's uh, it's making it a little little more difficult. Um, so good, good. This is uh, <laughs> this is a lot of plate spinning, but um, I think we'll get this the more that we do. All right. So here we go. Question number eight. So first off, first off, any. Any questions on this? Uh, I saw somebody said I read the question too fast. I, I get that. No, no worries. Um, and and they 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 purposely worded this very tricky. Um, so so that being said, okay, good. Here we go. Next one up. I'm gonna hit next. I won't start it. So it says okay. Click on each of the scenario headings to collapse the content. Okay, blah blah. blah. Here's the scenario. And by the way, in order to put these into the test quest engine that we're using for this. Um, I had to uh, I had to um, uh, look at the questions in advance. So you don't need to see any of these other outputs. I mean, we can we can show it and all that, but uh, this is the relevant uh, piece of the question. It says, "What is the OSPF router ID?" And that, by the way, that is that is uh, what the other outputs show is show IP OSPF interface of some of the other routers. What is the OSPF router ID of router two? Good, good, good. I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting better at this. All right. Um, answer on this one. So top answer selected was B. And the and that that should be. And let's let's check our answer here. Yes, that is that is correct. Remember with OSPF, when OSPF picks the router ID, which is going to essentially be the name of the router uh, to the OSPF router, it will look and it will pick the highest IEP address. Um, as its router ID. Now, now the loopback. Now, the irony of this question, I think it could have been a better question, uh, because the 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 irony of this is they made the loopback interface the highest IP address, um, which in this case it happens to also be the so so it is the highest IP address. Just like you were saying, uh, HK John, highest IP address wins unless you have a loopback, which always wins. So if they would have made this loopback the IP address 1.1.1.1 that would have been the router ID of router two because loopback always wins. The only time it uses the physical interface address is when there is no loopback. So it'll look and go, okay, that would be the router ID if there was no loopback. But as soon as you introduce a loopback, then the loopback will automatically become the router ID um, uh, for the OSPF router. Good. And, it, and at that point, it's going to be, if you have multiple loopback interfaces, it'll be the highest loopback IP address. Good. Okay, here we go. Next question. So you'll have to tell me at the end, because I know I'm still working out the, the jitters in this little quiz engine. You have to tell me at the end if it's if it makes it more fun, because it's going to have like a leaderboard. Um, and the faster you answer the question, the more points you get and all that kind of, it'll be, it'll be pretty fun, I think. But I want to know: is it if it is it more distracting? Is it like ah, it's too much, or is it is it actually more fun? You have to tell me that at the end. All right. So, uh, so here we go. We are now on to next question. Uh, it says which of the Cisco IOS commands is used to view information about the OSPF routing process? All right. We had we had a bunch of D. We had a, a bunch of B. The answer is actually B. 
If you click on that, you can see that uh, if you're looking about information about the OSPF routing process, Show IP OSPF will give you the generic info. You can see the, the view of that right here, which is pretty much all of the, inf the core information about the OSPF routing process. This one is handy if you want to see the LSA database. And that will this will show you where all of the LSAs are coming from, the link state advertisements for OSPF. Uh, so, so, um, so you can do that. Now, again, if you're just joining us, I'm not, I'm not sure if, uh, if you can still join, but please, and I'll, I'll type it in on the, or some, could somebody type it for me? Uh, the URL you want to go to to join our little competition is https colon forward slash forward slash ahaslides.com forward slash icnd2. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Kairos. Um, so just click on that link, type in your name, and, and jump in the in the quiz. It, it's, it's actually, I, it seems like it would be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun at my friend's house when we did this. So, um, so this will give you the information about OSPF. All right, next question. Question number ten. Uh, which command is used to create the following configuration? Huh, this is a type one. Show IP. So we look at EIGRP. This configuration. Which command is used? Is actually A. We'll check that and get that okay. Now, now this is this is really tricky. If you struggled with them, uh, is there a wooden spoon fries? Of course, there's a wooden spoon fries. If you struggled with this one, I totally don't blame you because this is one of the most confusing commands in all of the Cisco iOS. It's the network command. So, so here's the idea. So I'm going to draw a network diagram that might be what uh, what lines up to this. So let's just say this is uh, our router, RTR, right? This is our router. Um, so we have a network over here. Let's just make it 192.168.1.81 slash 28, which would be a 255.255.255. What would that be? 2240, right? 240. Um, over here, we have a network. Uh, let's just say 192.168.1.129. You know, slash. So this this is the IP address assigned to the router. So so uh, slash 28, right? So this command, if I wanted to run EIGRP on both networks, I would type this in because this command does not directly control what EIGRP advertises. The network command actually does two things. So check this out. One, the network, when you type in network one and two, it says, it, so it will identify interfaces to send Hello messages. Identify interfaces to send hello. So what this says is any interface starting with 192.168.1 will start sending hello messages. Second is it will identify interfaces to advertise. Identify interfaces to advertise using the EIGRP process. So, so this, by default, EIGRP is a class full routing protocol. So when I type this in right here, when I, you know, network one and two, it's going to say, okay, I'm going to take the default class C subnet mask, right? Which is, is kind of what they show in, in as uh, the second answer B. But it's, it, it does that by default. So it says, okay, I'm just going to assume any interface starting with 192.168.1 and it says, oh, I see one, I see two. I'll start sending hello messages out here. Hello, hello, trying to form neighbor relationships. And I will advertise these two networks to other routers. So when router, let's just say five over here, uh, forms a neighbor, this guy will be like, hey, router five, did you know I've got the 192.168.1.128 network? Let me tell you about it, right? And so, so that's, that's, what, yeah, that's, that's what this network command does. It's one of the most confusing things. Um, Confusing things when you get into routing protocol. <laughs> Jedi, he's like, I've got the lock on the wooden spoon. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I, so I'm curious. I'm honestly curious who's going to win this competition. Uh, here we go. Next question. And, and I, I can't remember how many questions I put into the system. So we'll go until we're done. I think we got three more. Three more? 13. 13. Okay. So we got, we've got got a couple more questions. Okay. You are the Cisco Network Administrator for National Act Incorporated. One of your assistants is preparing to introduce a new switch to the network. Before doing so... You execute the show VTP status command on old switch and new switch, respectively, and receive the following output. Okay, so there's our output. If new switch is introduced into the network, which of the following is true? Ready, set, 
Go. How'd you do? How'd you do? All right, answer here is actually C in this case. So, so let's look at this. It says, we, we, we've got uh, show VTP status. We've got old switch and new switch, right? Um, that are plugged together. We look right here and we see configuration revision. This, this hang on, let me grab my pen. This is the key right here. Configuration revision. Um, whoever has the higher configuration revision wins. Now, now both of these uh, have VLANs. You can see that this one has 24 VLANs. This one has 10 VLANs. So when these two switches meet, let's just say this is new switch, this is old switch, right? As soon as they replicate, and this is assuming they're in the same uh, VTP domain, which you can see right here, that's critical. If they have different VTP domain names, they don't communicate. But since they are in the same VTP domain, they'll communicate and the one with a higher revision number wins, which happens to be new switch. So new switch completely blows away all the VLANs on old switch. Thus, there will be 10 VLANs in the network by time it is said and done. Good? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Good, good, good. All right. Here we go. Next question. And we might go a little bit longer than three. Th actually, we, of course, we are going to go a little bit longer. Uh, but I think we've got two more questions in here. Uh, here we go. Next question. Why is it recommended to use spanning tree protocol in, LAN, in LANs with redundant paths? This should, be a, this should be a layup for you. Answer, as just about everybody was keying in on, is... B to prevent loops. That's what spanning tree does, and that's that's what it's it's there to do. Uh, hopefully that you were able to get a whole bunch of points on that one. It, the faster you answer it, the more points you get. All right, here we go. Question number thirteen. You know that router twelve is configured for RIP. Which Cisco IOS command is used to view the current state of all active routing protocols? All right, all right. Correct answer is. E, show IP protocols. And this is the actual output of show IP protocols. It will tell you routing protocol is, in this case, RIP, but it will also show you any other routing protocols that are running. So if you got OSPF, you got BGP, they'll all be displayed underneath. Um, and uh, so I'm, I'm curious. I'm, now, all I, all I see, because <laughs> this is my first time using this whole thing, I, I'm 20th place. So, so if you did better than 20th place, because I was just uh, uh, ch chalking things in, as we go, then you then you are doing fantastic. Uh, so so who is who is our winning? Polina, Polina is our our winner with seven hundred and twenty points. Congratulations, Polina. Who's second? I want to. Can you give me the top three? Polina, Tom D is second with with six hundred and sixty. Does it show? Hang on. Can I click next? No, it doesn't. It doesn't uh, say. So so Tom D is second place. And Jamie. Jamie is third place uh, of, 595. of 595. You can probably hear my kids chat in the background. Polina, nicely done. You, you should go take uh, the ICND to Polina. Yeah, fantastic. Great job. You get the wooden spoon. Fantastic. So, so this, is, this is my first time doing, uh, obviously, this, uh, this quiz thing. Um, it's, <laughs> it's 16th place. Uh, you, just for being a Jedi, you should get a uh, wooden spoon. Um, so this is this is uh, my first time doing this quiz thing. It's a lot to manage with with doing the music, doing the the quiz, and then having them. But I think I think it I think it was fun um, to do. So maybe we can we can do this next time. So uh, that being said, uh, we are about five minutes over, and uh, and this has been a fun study session with you guys. So um, what I want to do is I want to take just five minutes to uh, to answer any questions that you guys have. Now, Polina, by the way, you did you were you were top out of I think we had twenty six people participating. So nicely done. Um, so so um, I want to take any open have any questions that you guys have uh, as you're getting prepared for the new CCNA ICND two or or getting uh, getting the CCNA before that February date uh, ICND two. Um, anything else that, that you guys had that you wanted to chat about, um, chat it in, in the, in the chat right now. If not, no worries. I can just, uh, kick on some music until, until the end. Uh, meanwhile, let me, um, uh, <laughs> I'm 10th place silver spoon for me. Um, so toss them into the chat. Yep. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jake. Um, and let's see if there's anything that people were chatting in previously, uh, 
APS switch. APS switch, you were 19th, so that was that was I, I was one worse than you. So uh, on the on the uh, quiz, um, can we please have a network story stream? Uh, this is this is from previously, uh, Mr. Uh, Kairos. A network story stream where you share any awesome, funny, weird, chaotic, real life network stories. Um, that would be fun. I, so I'd be I'd be up for it. I don't know if I don't know who would. Uh, if, if anyone would tune in, but, um, yeah, I mean, most of them are, so by time, by time that stream would be done, you'd be like, I'm not sure I want to listen to this guy anymore because most things are like, Oh, I can't believe I did that again. Like it, it's, it's so, um, so the beautiful thing about network environments is if you do it right, it works. That's, that's why I love networking so much, uh, versus a lot of, a lot of the software side, where it's like, well, if you kind of do it right, you know, it could be a bug, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, um, but yeah, I think I would, I would have a great time doing that. Um, so, <laughs> question: Any tricks to remember the commands to set up SNMP version three? No, there's just a lot to it, and it, just doing the configuration again and again. Actually, if you if you uh, if you Google um, Jeremy Chara SNMP v three, I did a YouTube video. This is probably like three or four years ago, back when CBT Nuggets had micro nuggets. I think it has like 200,000 views or so. It, it was crazy on how to set up SNMP version three. Um, that gives you the minimum commands that you need to do that. Um, so you might check that out. Uh, let's see, taking taking my best. Okay, shooting on the, the 30th of, of January is MOLA. Good luck on ICND2 there. Um, what topic should I focus on? Good question. So. For ICND two, two world, I would focus on the WAN, that, that, and that's and, and I and I would say obviously the nuance of routing protocols OSPF EIGRP. That's the big difference between ICND one and ICND two is the the world of the wide area network and multi office. So so you can expect just like we had today in some of these questions, you can expect them to be have a lot of you know. What network command does this? What happens when these two routers, you know, simulation set up routing between these routers? Expect that. So, so do that. Uh, let's see. Marketing scheme for the. Is there a marketing a mark? Oh, marking scheme. <laughs> I was thinking marketing, like they're trying to sell something. Um, no, actually, in the real exam, the once you answer the the question, you're done. Uh, you and you move on. You cannot mark it and come back to it later, which is hard. It's really hard. You'll even find out later you'll be like oh that was the answer to that one you'll be like i can't go back so it's, it's you just gotta kind of roll with it um so fame geek i'm running out of time due to work commitments and thinking of waiting for the new exam any advice can i still join in these sessions yeah th yeah so so we're having more of these sessions tomorrow friday and i'm planning uh jake actually put out the whole schedule for actually here uh, take a look at this um Jake put out the whole schedule for December. This this is uh, Jake's me. I, I put it on Twitter, uh, right, right here. Uh, so CBT Nuggets actually has a post where we've got every study session. And, and by the way, it's not just me. Jeff is also doing study sessions as well. So you might just jump in here. Here, but uh, we're on December. What is it? December eleventh, right now. We're here. I've got one tomorrow. I've got one on Friday, and then you can see next week. Thir Wednesday, Thursday, uh, no Friday there. Uh, and then we're into Christmas. So so uh, we'll continue these study sessions. I, I liked actually doing the competition. I just need to, to uh, figure out how to do it without spinning so many plates at the same time. Um, and I think I will. So I would say, so Fame Geek, back, back to you, Framed, framed Geek. So I always call you Fame Geek. Um, totally possible um, to, to get ICND2. Now, now, if you haven't started ICND1, um, then I would say you may want to wait for the new CCNA. Um, at this point, I'd be like, that's, you could do it. I've seen somebody get uh, the full CCNA, ICD-1 and, and 2 in a month, but they literally took, they, they took time out. They were, they were not employed at the time. They were just studying and that's all they did. So totally possible, but um, hard if you've got family, if you've got job. I mean, it, it just, it's hard to squeeze in that many hours. Um, test is tomorrow. Any last words? Uh, don't don't stress. <laughs> I know that, right? Um, don't study anymore. You're done. Like like right now, the best thing that you could do is get, grab a cup of tea and just just relax and and get there. Because um, cramming actually does worse for for anybody than it does to just just mellow out before the exam. That's that's my that's my only last words. 
<laughs> smash it, nice. Um, so I can't see BGP in the syllabus, but it's there in the study guide. Um, that actually, that's what surprised me. Last last study session, we had BGP pop up. Um, it isn't in the syllabus. Uh, it's been a while since I've taken ICND two. Um, I th I know it's in the new CCNA, um, but I, d I don't think it's in the old one. I think that question just kind of slipped in there. So uh, that surprised me too. So I wouldn't focus on that. Um, should we really know span SNMP in depth for ICND two? Uh, no. No, you need to know, so I guess define in depth. Um, so I would, I would suggest it would be good to know what they are and some basic commands. You probably wouldn't have to set up a full on SNMP version three rollout, but you may do a, you know, a config snippet and go, ah, that's, that's what's missing. Or you may do a, um, you know, what would be the difference between version one, version two, version three, and you have to pick. So, so it's not, so that's, that's the kind of knowledge that you would need on things like span, things like SNMP, most likely, again, uh, it's an exam, it changes all the time. So, so anything's possible. Um, span, I would know how to set it up. I would do like a, just like in the last session, the monitor session command, figure out, you know, how can you do monitoring of a port? I would do that. Um, do we need to worry about Cisco adding new exam questions or bridging it into the, into the exam sneakily? Um, I'll, I'll add, um, in there. So Cisco changes the exam all the time. They're always adding and removing questions because they know there's a lot of brain dumps out there, which kind of totally violate the sanctity of everything that is good and holy about the exam. So they're always rotating questions. They don't put sneaky questions in there, although there are questions that are confusing. Like you have to read them a couple times to, to figure out what they're even asking. Um, there are some questions in there that are not worth any points. And those are usually the new ones that they're testing out. Um, so take that for what it is. Um, so thank you, Jake. Sorry you put the full post in there. Um, my Boson and Pearson practice exam is constantly updating with new questions and that's great. I have CBT Nuggets subscription is that practice test a good indicator that I'm ready? Uh huh. Um, I would say now. Now keep in mind, the more you take a practice exam, the more you start memorizing. Oh, that's that. That's B. That's C. That's you know. You know what the answers are, so the less valuable it is. But if you were to take one of those cold, like you haven't seen it before, it would be a good gauge of are you ready or are you not. Um, so BGP, I already answered that question. Get a good night's sleep. BGP is under three point six. BGP is under three point six under Wayne Technologies. Good. Okay, so BGP could be on there. Thank you. Um, I can't say say that name. That one nerd. That one nerd. Nice. Um, so so um, if yeah, if B, like I said, it's been a while since I've taken ICND two. So if it's in the syllabus under WAN Tech, then then expect it. Uh, Three forty two in the morning. Go to sleep. <laughs> um, all right. Good. 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 We are. I'm actually. I've actually gone a little long longer. 